Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for October 14th, uh, 2020. And uh, we'll start out by looking at the US dollar index here. So we have rallied quite significantly today in the US dollar index. And uh, yesterday, yes, we broke down um, last Friday quite significantly, and we were trading underneath yesterday, and today we have broken above the, uh, the, um, the 50 moving average. And at this point, we may go and uh, retest, first of all, these highs here at around 93.92, and then we'll go to 94.78. Uh, we do need another green candlestick above this uh, 50 moving average in order to confirm that we are basically going to trade above the 50 moving average. If we were to break down from here, then we'll go to the highs of these levels here at 92.72 and then all the way down towards 91.73. At this point, I do believe that we'll go higher. Um, if you look at technical indicators, the RSI has completely turned around, indicating bullish momentum. Uh, the stochastic is about to turn around, so within tomorrow or on, on, on Thursday, we'll probably have um, a crossing uh, indicating bullish momentum, and the same goes for the MACD. So at this point, uh, we may see um, the US dollar index appreciate um, and that will, of course, be negative for most commodities. We have already seen, for example, gold has been absolutely battered today. Um, and some of the other copper and, uh, and um, some of the other commodities as well. And that is also due to the rise in the US dollar index. And usually this also is quite negative for some of the, the indexes and stocks as well. We can see that that the Nasdaq and um, and Apple have taken a beating today, but at this point we are trading at ninety three point fifty three, and that was also previous resistant. So just have that in mind. There's a reason why we have stopped here because, as you can see, we have a lot of resistance at actually this point. So we have tested it once, two, three, four. Five, and this is the sixth time that we basically run into resistance exactly at 93.54. So if we look at oil, sorry, or oil. <clears throat> so oil has rallied quite significantly today. We broke down on Friday and on, uh, on, uh, on Monday session all the way towards the 200 moving average. And now we have jumped up towards the 50 moving average. So we're trading in between the 200 and the 50 moving average. We have not touched either of these moving averages on the daily chart. And at this point, it looks like we are uh, running into resistance. This um, candlestick has been hanging here for several hours. And usually that means that that we're running, uh, it's becoming exhausted and, and we may see a turnaround. I don't expect this market this to go higher. There's no reason for this to go higher. There was some promising data from China that uh, that the Chinese um, economy was economy was improving. However, other economies around the world, the European the United, in the United States, are not improving. So, so China technically is a big economy, but it's not big enough to basically and keep this uh, up by itself. So we may see a turnaround towards um, the 200 moving average tomorrow, or we just go sideways for uh, several days. I do expect something similar to this. We, we broke above the 50 moving average, fell similar to this, and then we rose for a few days before just completely collapsing um, uh, around 10%. So at this point, um, it's not a good, could basically um, look at an hourly chart and see a weak candle in the hourly chart and then make a, make a, make a, a trade from that. 
But at this point, we need a real rejection from the 50 moving average um, in order to confirm that we are going lower. Uh, if you look at the technical indicators, they are quite mixed for the daily chart. The RSI is fairly flat. The stochastic is, is uh, looking very bearish. But the MACD is still trading above the signal line. It has not crossed. And uh, until we see a crossing of that signal line, we can really confirm that we are going to go significantly lower. It'll probably take a few trading sessions in order to, to um, or some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, bad news in order to get this market um, um, going to the downside. If we were to break through the 50, the 200 moving average, we'll go all the way towards the, the 37 to 36 levels. After that, 35 dollars, uh, and then go all the way to 30 to the technical Fibonacci retracements. If we were to break through the 50 moving average, we will go to the highs of uh, 43.22 or thereabout and after that to uh, 45 and maybe 50. That is not likely uh, as the uh, economic um, is at the moment. Technically we need a war in the Middle East or or some kind of, uh, of, of, of extreme good news of some sort in order to do, get this market to go to the upside or a storm or a strike in Norway or something like that. But uh, all of those things are over at this point. So if you look at natural gas. So natural gas, uh, we rallied yesterday, broke down, and today we lo it looks like we got way over our heads uh, with this candlestick yesterday, and today we are basically uh, have a pullback. And at this point, I do believe that is about time that we pull back towards the 50 moving average. Uh, we are uh, way overstretched at this point, and it would be a, a good buying opportunity if we get close to the 50 moving average and then bounce from there. Um, the technical indicators show, are fairly mixed. MACD are, is still looking really bullish. The um, stochastic is about to cross the signal line and will most likely. Um, cross and and momentum will change to the to uh, to bearish and the rsi is technically leveling off so these two indicators may, are indicating that that we are going to see lower price levels for natural gas and at this point that will be a good idea um a pullback from the 50 moving average will see us go significantly higher around the 3.29 uh, which is around this uh, around this area here, which was previous resistance in the past, this area here, and then there, and afterwards we will probably most likely go to 3.86. Uh, as long as the budget conditions are as they are in the United States at the moment, and um, high demand is for natural gas, then this market will just go higher. Um, it is not a good idea to enter this market at the moment because buying opportunity, it would, this market can fall really aggressively and selling opportunity is, is, is also, yeah, could, but this is a buying on the dips market at, the, at this moment, as long as it has the 50 moving average as support. Um, uh, a breakthrough the, through the 50 moving average will see us fall all the way down to the 200 moving average and uh, then we'll bounce from there. So if you look at copper. So copper, as we said yesterday, it looks like we ran into resistance again around at 3.1. And at this point, we are going to almost certain visit the uh, 50 moving average. Um, it has been previous support, but it looks like this is going to be the highs of copper for the time being. If we have a slowdown in the world economy, if you have a pre appreciation of the US dollar, then we will see copper uh, fall significantly. Uh, estimate for copper is around the 200 moving average at 2.6 um, and that means that we will fall quite a lot of way before 
we end up with the uh, with the estimate of uh, of the major production producers of uh, of copper. So so this m- looks like the as high as copper will go. Uh, if we were to go higher, we need to break uh, through these highs, and then we'll go all the way to three point two four, and then to two point the three point two nine. So 3.3, uh, but it looks like we have a double top here. We This looked like uh, the market was signaling that we were going to go lower. We did bounce from here, but additional breakthrough, the 50 moving average will most likely see this market fall all the way down to the 200 moving average. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see that the RSI is uh, technically leveling off, it's basically now uh, pointing downwards, indicating bearish momentum. The stochastic is almost crossing the signal line, and so is the MACD. So we are actually in a in a situation where we will see almost guarantee you see uh, lower prices for copper. We will though run into resistant live support. Uh, sorry. Uh, within this area, this was previous resistant uh, support. I mean, sorry, um, a, f- a few months ago or a few weeks ago, as you say, and we saw also that it it showed to be uh, support um, two weeks ago when we broke through the 50 moving average. So we may see this area here as a difficult um, price level to get through. However, a breakthrough this price level will see us go all the way down to the 200 moving average. So you look at gold. Gold has tumbled as expected. There is just too much uh, resistance above the, this area here for gold to get through at this point. It will get through that area um, eventually. However, we ran into resistant yesterday at the 50 moving average also at this trend line and we, if we were to break through this resistant and the trend line we would run in further resistant within this area here uh, so this was an uh, area that we tried to get through several weeks ago we did not manage that now we're finding resistant at the 50 moving average and this trend line and at this point it is only a matter of time before we break uh, down towards the 200 moving average, or at least 1800 level first, and then the 200 moving average. Um, we will see further resistance within this area here. Uh, so we need to get through this area in order to go to the to the 1800 level. If 1800 breaks, uh, we will go all the way down to the 200 and. From there, we'll most likely bounce to the upside. This will be uh, almost a trade of a lifetime uh, when it gets down here because long-term aspects for for gold is that it is really bullish due to the intervention of most uh, central banks and their and their monetary policies, which are really uh, bullish for gold. Technical indicators for gold at this point, RSI is heading straight south, and that is not a good sign. The stochastic is about to turn around quite aggressively, and so is the MACD. So this is not a good sign for gold, um, and but this is not a market that is that is uh, suggested to be uh, sh- uh, a good short. This is a market that you should technically wait until you get it as low as possible, get as good value for money as possible, and then just buy and hold this until it gets to uh, 2.3, uh, 3, uh, 2,300 or something like that. So if you look at silver, silver, same thing. It is more aggressive than gold, so when it starts to fall, it falls really rapidly, and when then when it starts to increase, it increases really rapidly. So this candlestick here yesterday was a massive signal that we are going to go lower, and we did. Um, it's the same thing, or it's very similar to gold. There is just too much resistance above. Uh, 
um, at this uh, 50 moving average and above the 50 moving average in order to for gold or for silver to to go higher we can just look at how many candles fit in within this area here so this is an area where we were just trading sideways we could not move neither to the upside or the downside finally we broke down now we're trading sideways again so this area here is important because a breakthrough in this area will open up into the 200 moving average uh, and that is probably where we're going we're probably going to test the first of all the lows here at 21 then at 20 and then we'll go all the way to the 200 moving average if we get there a break above the 50 moving average will see us retest this area which will be significant resistance a break through this area will see us go all the way to 29.87 technical indicators for silver are just as dire as they are for gold uh, rsi is heading straight south the, the sarcastic is about to turn around and so is the macd so uh, expect further sell-off especially if the uh, us dollar index continues to appreciate so if you look at Kakoa, Kakoa started additional sell-off today we can just look at these three indicators here and just say that Kakoa is on its way to lower price levels however this will find it fairly hard to get through this uh, support area here we can see that we were in this area for quite some time we did not break uh, out for a long period we did visit this area again over here before we broke to the upside now we broke to the downside and it will be interesting whether or not we manage to break through exactly 2.350 uh, if we do, uh, then we'll go much lower. We'll go all the way down to this level, 2.214. And after that, we'll go to these very lows at 2.089. A break above uh, the 200 moving average will we'll run into resistance straight away at the 50. A break above the 50 will see us this market go to the very top of this price level. So I mentioned this yesterday. We are at this moment right in the middle of um, of uh, these these highs and these lows so we have been been here before we can just see this area here where we were right in the middle of the things we broke down here and then we broke up to the highs and at this point we could actually see um this trend go all the way uh, to the to the very lows in order to make a double low and then go higher that is possible the technical indicators are showing uh, this market to be really really bearish at this point so um so keep that in mind so if we go to platinum so platinum did break down uh, we uh, tested the 200 moving average and bounced and uh, this is quite a good, nice sign if uh, buyers were willing to come in and uh, and push this price level up at at that price level this could be an indication that we may see this market going higher and probably test the 50 moving average at this point is still uh, increasing if we look at the uh, hourly chart and so on you will probably see a much more aggressive um, buying uh, at this point if you look at the technical indicators it is really only the stochastic that is really bullish for for uh, for platinum macd is technically uh, on the signal line technically flat the same goes for the rsi uh, i am not a favor of of shorting this because there's just so much um, there's so much uh, support underneath both in these areas where we previous tried to trade we broke to the upside here we broke to the upside here now we're trading towards that 200 moving average we're finding the 200 moving average as fairly supportive and at this point is i think it's only a matter of time before we break to the upside a break above the 50 moving average we'll see this market first go to 257 then to uh, to 
900 and sorry this was 955 and then we had 979 and then we go to these highs of now uh, of uh, 1000 so if we look at sugar so sugar broke down quite significantly yesterday as was expected this market is way overstretched we we did make a bullish run no, a bullish run today and fell again and this may indicate that there's just not that much appetite for sugar at this point and we will see uh, lower levels if you look at technical indicators stochastic has changed completely to the to the to the downside so again, the RSI is always uh, was really bearish yesterday. It's leveling off now, and the MACD is about to turn around, indicating uh, more bearishness in this market. Um, if you look at the Fibonacci retracement, we can see that this market will likely go and retest um, the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement at around 0 0.1340. And then the 50 at the 0 0.1315, so, so near that. We will definitely find significant support at the 61.8 uh, Fibonacci retracement because that is just where the, Fibonacci, uh, where the 50 moving average is at the moment as well. So we may fall towards the first one or the second one. I My guess would be the second one uh, before we go higher. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button and see you in the next video. Goodbye.